Well, what's up guys? This is Daniel from Arms Family Homestead out in the high tunnel in the garden getting some work done this morning. And today we're going to be talking about fertilizers and more specifically the Haas Tools Fertilizer Injector. So you can cut out a couple extra steps and fertilize while you water. So you guys know I use, or you may not know, I'm gonna tell you again, I use drip irrigation systems on my garden and in my raised beds. So we use T-tape and with this Haas Tools drip irrigation system or with the, uh, let me rephrase that. So with this Haas Tools fertilizer injector, I can inject fertilizer directly into my drip system, but you don't have to have a drip system to use this. You could use it if you were hand watering with a garden hose and a nozzle, however you want to do it. We'll show you that, but first let's get this system all hooked up, get the injector going and show you what kind of fertilizer we're using today and feed our plants because that's a very important step. If you don't feed your plants, they're not gonna grow. So we're gonna start out here at the water source. Now this is, kinda looks like a complicated setup, but I've just got my water nozzle with a couple of valves and my irrigation timer. This is a uh, self-timer, digital timer where I can irrigate my garden when I'm not even here. But we're talking about the Haas Tools fertilizer injector system today. So this is the system. You got a two gallon jug and a couple hoses with a fitting. And this fitting is gonna go, basically it's really simple. We're gonna connect directly to my water source and then my water hose will connect on here. As you can see, there's a, two different hoses that come off of this. You've got an inlet and an outlet. So one goes into the tank and then one comes out of the tank. And this one is clear so we can actually see if our fertilizer is making it into our, our water hose. So what are we gonna be fertilizing with? If you're gonna use an injector system like this, you can use tons of different kinds of fertilizer, but the main thing is, is it has to be water soluble, especially if you're gonna be using a drip irrigation system because those drip tape have little bitty small holes that you call drip emitters. And if you use some kind of granular fertilizer that won't completely dissolve in water, then you're gonna clog up your system. And these little bitty tubes will clog up pretty fast too. So today we're gonna be fertilizing with Haas Tools fertilizer. Uh, it's just a 20-20-20, a triple 20 fertilizer. And I'm not an expert on mixing ratios and telling you how much you need to mix per everything to get everything right. Basically, Travis from Haas Tools told me use about two pounds of their fertilizer mix it up really good, pour it in the container, and you turn on your drip system. And we're gonna do that probably every two to three weeks. So let's get to mixing. So it is gonna be important to dissolve your fertilizer before you put it in here. So the first step, we're just gonna use a regular clear pitcher and just dissolve some of our fertilizer in water before we put it in the container. Got our fertilizer in the tank. Let's replace our lid that's got all of our valves. It's gonna go down and pull the fertilizer out of the water hose into the system and back into the hose. All right, the next step is we're gonna to connect to our water source. So we're gonna connect the fitting here, just like a water hose fitting. And then my water hose that goes to the garden, to my drip irrigation system, goes on next. So if you're using a drip irrigation system, you're gonna wanna connect this ahead, upstream of your flow restrictor. So a drip irrigation system is a low flow system. This needs to go on upstream above your pressure regulator. So we've got everything hooked up. Let's go ahead and charge the system and see if we can get a flow. Got the water valve on, and then I'm just gonna turn on my digital timer. Water's on. Nothing's going through the tubes yet because the 
valves on the actual um, injector system are off so we're going to turn the first valve to go in and that pressurizes the tank we've got another valve over here that's still off we're going to pressurize the tank first and let that build up next we'll turn on the valve to actually allow the system to flow water through there it goes I don't know if you can see it on video, but now there's water going through the tube. So basically you got our system up here. I got a water leak. It's spraying water. I didn't get, they can get the hose on tight, but we're coming out of the water source. That black tube sending water into the injector, through the injector, back out and into the water hose. So I know it sounds like a clustered mess, but basically that system feeds my high tunnel and that brings water down to my drip irrigation lines. I'll show you the system, the little valve system I've got set up here in the greenhouse. It's not pretty, but it's functional and it works. So here's where the garden hose comes in, comes to a Y, and then this, it Ys over to here, and that's what feeds my actual drip lines on my raised beds. So right now I've just got it set up to where this comes in, this valve's on and this valve's on. This was another drip system that, that I've got disconnected right now and the valve off. So this will allow water to go into the system and feed all of my raised beds. So you can see it comes up out of the ground into the drip system and fertilizes all the raised beds. So earlier in the video I mentioned you do not have to have a drip irrigation system set up to use this fertilizer injector. And here's what I mean. So while my drip irrigation system is running I also have a valve just to a water hose with a hand wand and there's nothing that says you couldn't just hand water your vegetables as the water comes out of that fertilizer injector if you didn't have a drip system you could definitely just water by hand so it would work just fine with this you could use this to fill up your self wicking tubs or whatever you had going on now one also one other thing you could add you could put this injector system on a garden hose and hook up a sprinkler and fertilize your lawn, however you wanted to use it. You don't have to have the drip irrigation system. So if you're interested in purchasing this fertilizer injector kit, I'll leave a link to it in the description box down below. Like I said, it was provided to us by Haas Tools. I love working with Haas Tools. They're a great American company and uh, they've got tons of instructional videos on how to use all their stuff. But anyways, like I said, I'll leave a link in the description box down below to that. I'm sure there are tons of other fertilizer irrigation um, injector systems on the internet but you can look around shop around but if that's something you're interested in hit the link down below and it'll take you directly to Haas Tools website so the sun's popping out if you can't tell it just got really bright in here which is good for the garden not so great for the gardener because I get to sweating really bad so anyways guys that's all I've got for today thanks for watching hope you enjoyed it y'all have a great day and as always we'll see you on the next video